Hola amigos, what is up? And welcome to a new Let's Play. Um, today I bring you something I found snooping around from Telltale Games, the same creators who created The Walking Dead and The Wolf Among Us. Back to the Future, the game. Now, I am so pumped up for this game, really. I love the movie. Michael J. Fox is one of my f all time favorite actors. Uh, it's a tragic, it's a tragic it's a tragedy that um the Parkinson's disease got him. But you know, people, yeah, you never know what happens to people. Um, but yeah, anyways, I was I was thinking about starting The Walking Dead because of this, but I was gonna wait till like season, the new season, and I wanted to let you guys know if you would rather have me play seasons one and two or would you rather want me to just make highlights of those previous seasons and just skip all the way to three uh leave in the comments of what do you think you prefer or else i would have to flip a coin and decide for myself which is not a very good idea but uh yeah um i think this game takes place after the events of three um, I don't know what else could could they actually come up as an original story. But, you know, that's what I came to find out. My favorite movie. I'm really hoping that this will be a really awesome game. Alright. Let's go to the new game. Before we begin, would you like to see notifications when Marty has a new goal? Uh, yeah, no thanks. All right, <clears throat> got the flux capacitor as the loading screen. That's that's quite something new. You don't see every day. Oh. All right, I'm ready. Oh Good my evening. God. I'm Doctor Emmett Brown. I'm standing on the park. They got to do the what the four. fuck? It's a Saturday morning, October twenty sixth, nineteen eighty five, one eighteen a.m. And this is temporal experiment number one. Dog, what the Come fuck on, happened to your face? Hey, boy, get in there. That a boy. I need, not you, too. Get down. Get your seatbelt on. That's it. I wonder oh, if they got the dog oh, to reprise, okay. reprise his role. Please Einstein's clock is in precise synchronization with my control watch. Got it? Oh, yes. Yeah, I remember it. Have a good trip, Einstein. Watch your head. Oh, my God. I can't believe they actually had the original voice cast in this. You got no? that thing hooked up to the car? Watch this. Yeah, okay. Got it. Doc, your nose is so flat, it's scary. Not me, the car. The Doc, car. stop looking at me, please. <laughs> oh. Well, guys, I believe we're gonna have our first game over in a matter of seconds. If my calculations are correct, when this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious shit. I, d I, I don't want to see some serious shit, please. I'm too young for this. Where's my girl? Oh, God. No, 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 no! Out of time. Occurred at exactly 1.20 a.m. and zero seconds. Oh my god. <laughs> Marty's like, Marty's like, what the fuck did I just see? Oh my god. Is he gonna do anything? Hey, what's going on? Oh, wait. Ah, okay. I'm so used with the Walking Dead uh, choice maker with like in the middle or something. Uh... He's disintegrate Einstein. Where's the car? What the heck? Yeah, that's my. What the heck? Doc, who the heck was that? Calm down, Marty. <laughs> I didn't disintegrate anything. The molecular structure of both Einstein and the car are completely intact. I don't where understand. The, the appropriate question is when the hell are they? You see, Einstein has just become the world's first time traveler. I sent him into the future. Uh, into the future to be exact 
And at precisely 1.21 a.m. and zero seconds, we shall catch up with him and the time machine. Yeah, what are you talking about? Because really, I don't understand shit. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Doc. What are you talking about? A time machine? The way I see it, if you're going to build a time machine into a car, why not do it with some style? Besides, the stainless steel construction made the flux dispersal. Look out! Uh, yep. Yeah, look out for that dangerous flying paper uh, balls. Ooh. Oh, that's peculiar. Uh, where's the car, Doc? And where's Einstein? More importantly. 27 seconds ago. Doc, uh, what happened to Einstein? Yeah, what happened to well, Einstein? The concern is probably just a minor miscalibration of the time circuit. Marty, could you get my notebook? It should be in the toolbox. Ah, oh, fuck. All right. Okay. Let's see. Search the toolbox. Ooh, what's this? Sealed container. What's in the box? Don't touch that. It's plutonium. But uh, plutonium. Ah, oh, the plutonium. How do you think I generated one point twenty-one gigawatts of power. Oh, you don't have to ask me twice, Doc. I'll get your tulamajigs. Notebook. And... Notebook. Oh wait, just notebook. Got it. Wow. Flux capacitor. That's it. What the heck's a flux capacitor? My latest invention. The thing that makes time travel possible. Now I need one of In this those. This notebook I detail the nearly three decades of scientific breakthroughs necessary to build a working time machine. If it ever fell into the wrong hands, the consequences could be catastrophic. No. That's it. Mass equals I times Z, and E equals the square root of Z times C squared, and the flux dispersal rate is inversely proportional to the fourth root of N, carry the nine, Ben. We gotta get out of here. Um, Doc, shouldn't we get out of here before the Libyans show up? Yeah, don't you remember the, the Libyans, like, shot you down? I remember that, Doc. Now let's get the fuck out of here. Uh, Doc? Twins Pine Mall. Oh no. Great Lone God. Pine Mall. Doc, what is it? Yeah, I've Doc. Made a horrible mistake. What did you do? Oh my God, Doc is disappearing. Doc! This isn't how the movie no. went. I'm sorry, Marty. No! Come back. Doc! Doc! Einstein! Maria! Oh, what? Oh, I'm awake. It was all a dream. Marty? Is everything okay? Shut up, Mom. Yeah, Mom. I... It was, it was just a nightmare. Uh, I was in the past, and Doc was there. Wait, where's my mom? Who am I talking to? Well, you're safe and sound now. Back in good old 1986. Is my mom in my head? Because I don't see her anywhere. But you'd better get up. Your father's waiting for you. Yep. Huh? This Were is just the. To meet him over at Docks? This is just Holy the voices crap. in my head. <laughs> Back to the future. Oh, oh! I am psyched. I am having so much. I'm already pumped up for this. Ooh! I can't wait. I hope you guys are excited as I am. Let us begin. This is not the way to go. There are so many fucking clocks! And books! Who reads? Ah, oh, it's a little town model! I remember that. Einstein's bowl and... Some sort of teapot and a cage. Huh? Oh my god, I really want one of those cat clocks. Is this the amplifier? I think it's... The, yeah, it's the amplifier. I'm pretty sure it's the amplifier. Yup, there's that big mama boy right there. And I think that's the... 
Little machine for can opening and such. May 14, 1986. Dad, are we too late to stop the sale? No. Better late than never. You wouldn't believe how much rare stuff there is back oh, here. Oh God, it's dark stuff. The city has no right now, to. Now, son, I know you're upset. But your friend's been gone for months, and the city really seems hell-bent on using his land for that new parking garage. And, hey, is that a first edition Jules Verne? Oh, it's Dad, not no, fair. not Jules Verne. At least things Stay can't away. get any worse. Hey, Marty! Biff, you Hi, became Biff. such a pussy. <laughs> I haven't forgot that. Buried treasure? Nah, I guess I'm just... Remembering. All right, fine. I can move. Select items around the lab to make sure Doc didn't leave anything dangerous lying around. Uh, what do I want to do? Man, I don't want to rush. Uh, television. Does nature contrive it so that even with a time machine, you can intervene to prevent your own conception, for example? I don't want. Who would want to see their own conception? That's just uh, very disturbing. Okay, a fish tank. A fish tank? I never knew Doc raised fish. Doc's fish had weird taste and decor. I kind of like Doc. Oh, there's a fish tank? Why the fuck is there a teapot in there? Uh, let's look at all these clocks. That's why Doc didn't take any of these with him. Yeah, he should have took the the really cool cat one. Doink, doink, doink. <laughs> okay. Uh, where am I going? Hey, Daddy O, what is up, Daddy? Hey, Dad. Uh, who's running the sale? Who's running the sale anyway? Oh, that'd be me, son. What the you. fuck? Why? Well, once it became apparent that the bank was going through with the sale, I volunteered to oversee it in order to make sure that Doc's stuff would be treated with a modicum of respect. Isn't that right, Biff? You got it, Mr. McFly. <laughs> Damn, he just appeared. You got it, Mr. McFly. Uh, what's Biff doing here, anyways? What's Biff doing here? He wasn't a friend of Doc's. It's a public sale, Marty. Everyone's allowed. <laughs> Even Biff. Man, hey, what's with these pop-ups? I'm telling you, this sale is a joke. Doc's only been gone for a few months, and I happen to know- Yes, you've told us he's not dead. He's on a trip. Let's say you're right. Have you considered that this trip may not have been entirely voluntary? I hate to say it, but Doc's run up some pretty sizable debts around town. Maybe he's just hiding from his creditors. No, Doc would never do that. Doc isn't like that. Can I take off these guys? Hold on. Give me a second. Where is it? I don't want no hints. Alright. Turn. I can't take that off? Oh well. I had a dream. Do you think dreams can predict the future? Like time well, travel? you know I don't go in for that mystical stuff. But I do think they can reflect how you're feeling about the future. What did you dream? Oh, just <laughs> weird stuff. Girls. Yeah, about Doc. Well, that's understandable, don't you think? I guess, but... Tall, I pretty like Amazon woman girls. Uh, you got Doc wrong. You got Doc wrong. Sure, maybe he's not so good with money. That's just because his mind's always on bigger things. But he's still a straight-up guy. He'd never run away from his problems. Well, you know him better than I do, son. But the bank is within its rights to sell off his stuff. Maybe you should try to find some things to remember him by before Biff grabs them all. Okay, Dad. I'll keep looking around. Thanks, Dad. Why is this here? Amplifier, I... Love it took me June. forever to repair this thing after I blew it out last time, and now some jerk's gonna pick it up for pennies. Why don't you take it, Marty? You could make some sweet blowing up. This didn't get out of my face. Alright, fine, I'll look at the goddamn model. 
Doc built this model of downtown Hill Valley way back in 1955. The clock tower in the courthouse even works. What the? Is that Doc's notebook in there? I think so. That looks just like the courthouse. You gotta hand it to the old coot. He was good with his hands. Uh, Biff, uh, can, can I see that a minute? Ooh, the music ramped up. great in my fish tank. Give the old carp something new to nibble on. Uh, good, 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 good. I saw it first, Biff. Come on, I saw it first. Yeah, I guess you're right. But I picked it up first. Oh, that's dirty. Give it here, Biff. Well, well, look at what we have here. Looks like plans for something. What's a flux catheter? It's none of your business. <laughs> flux catheter? Food, kid. Wow. But this looks like oh, it might idiot. be worth something. Ha! Piff, I swear to God. I will punch. I will go back in time, punch you ten times over. Give me back my notebook. My reading helmet. It feels like that was a lifetime ago. Actually, I guess it was. Yes, it was. All right, Biff. What do you want for that? Hey, Biff. Uh, you wouldn't understand that, that notebook, notebook. Wouldn't mean anything to you. You wouldn't even understand what's in it. You called her a catheter for God's sake. You calling me ignorant? I'm calling you stupid. Uh, it's sentimental to me. I only want that notebook because, well, I'm I'm sentimental. <laughs> I'm <trying to laughs> yeah. Doc's dead. Time to get over it and move on. You know, that going back in time and beating you ten times over it sound like a bad idea right now, you piece of shit. It's dangerous! I just can't let you keep that notebook, it's dangerous. What, is it set to explode or something? Well, uh, in a way. Yeah, no, I'll uh, take my in, chances. In a bit of a fraction. It's worthless. It's just a notebook with Doc's scribblings. What did Doc ever accomplish? Nothing! And then it's worthless, right? If it was really worthless, you wouldn't want it so bad. Listen, you fat fuck. Give me it. I'll buy I'll it from you. For it. How much? Uh, Not enough. Wow. Okay. Guess the price is set right there. Uh, never mind. <sighs> Great. Uh, is that my guitar? Oh, shit. Hey, move. Oh, you could keep the notebook. Hey, Dad, wh why is my guitar got a price tag on it? Sorry, son. Must have been an overzealous clerk. Just pick it up. I'll iron things out with the bank. <laughs> All right, you picked up Mars guitar. Left click on the book game. Open. I have an inventory. Nice. Just a picture of my old pops. Now, now select the amplifier pick in the guitar. I don't accept the hell. All right. Oh, nice. Here's an oldie, but a goodie. One, two, three. <laughs> hey, look, it's Chuck Butthead. Why are you calling me names? It's just a big bag done. of wuss. Now, Biff. I think that's Marty's guitar. Oh, <laughs> gosh. <laughs> You're right, Mr. McFly. <laughs> You're such you a go, wuss. <laughs> Let's hear a few licks. <laughs> wow, that was sizzling hot. Like a melting ice cube. <laughs> Jeez, what's your problem, Biff? <laughs> Damn, ever since that punch, I, ca I can't stress how much you got neutered so hard. Uh. Let's make some noise. Ah, oh, yes. I can relive this. Ooh, yeah. Power of those drivers. Oh, ho, ho. Ooh, yeah. Those primary drivers. Put them up. Put them up. Ooh. Now, let's play a song. And now, something your kids are really going to like. Thanks for warming them up for me, butthead. Hey. What the fuck? Biff, I thought I told you not to take my son's guitar. Oh, right. Sure thing, Mr. McFly. I was just warming him up for you, Marty. Let's see what you got. The fuck? Man, you kids have ruined rock and roll. What the hell happened? 